in this section of video we are going to study about the classification problems in this particular video i will introduce to you what is known as the classification problem i have already covered that in the uh, in the in one of the video um, in this channel you might have come across a classification problem in the very beginning but we will study uh, more into detail and how do we uh, model for a classification problem in this video and in the subsequent video how do we define a classification problem well a classification problem deal with classifying an object into a particular group um, we have already taken an example like this you have in your inbox when a mail comes uh, well the algorithm decides whether it's a spam or it's not so that's a classification problem we have already seen uh, the uh, the problem with cancer whether a particular uh, patient is having cancer or not that that is a classification problem well classification can be into different groups not just into two groups um, we can classify customer as good customer average customers very good customers bad customer very bad customer so we can categorize them into different groups that's about classification problem well um, so what is the target variable in a uh, classification problem so this is your target okay this is the target variable why um, well in a uh, classification problem the target variable if it is having only two categories then it should be one and zero well we can denote it any number but uh, generally we use one and zero one for the event of interest or the incident that is happening uh, or the object of interest and uh, the the uh, you know the object which is of not interest to us is zero it's like if spam is the interest to us okay which one of the mail is spam then we denote spam as one and not spam as zero so that's about binary we can also have this for multiple uh, classification we can use 0 1 2 3 and so on on the uh, graph let me uh, you take the example of the cancer patient example wherein we want to know that whether a particular tumor is malignant or not so my uh, target variable is yes or no okay my target variable is whether it's a, a malignant or not it has got two values yes or no or you know if it is malignant it is one or else it is zero and in the x-axis we have the size of the tumor um, and then I have the observations uh, the process are the observations in the y-axis you can see it's either 1 or 0 of course I have uh, 0.5 here also but I'll tell you why I have taken 0.5 uh, so you have observations couple of observations which lies uh, you know close to the 1 or it lies in the same line with 1 and there are another set of observations uh, that lies on the 0 y equal to 0 when we fit a regression line say any regression line um, uh, the green line shown here is a regression line that I have fitted into this set of observations uh, whether it fits the observation well or not is not a question here of course this is not true because uh, you know this is not a best linear regression uh, or the regression line that we can use for sake of example I have taken it um, you will see that you know after one uh, you know one value here this line you can see that you can, uh, most of these observations are one these sort of observations and before this line these 
observations are zero. That means a tumor which has a size more than this size, this size, this particular size, and then this malignant because it's one. If it is less than that, then it's um, not malignant. Okay. Um, remember. Uh, what we studied in the previous uh, videos, we studied about what is a hypothesis. So, linear regression line is always associated with the hypothesis equations. Uh, H theta x is the one. For a classification problem, which is a binary one, the uh, hypothesis always has to lie between 0 and 1. And that is the reason why we have 0 in the uh, uh, in the origin and the maximum value that can it take that it can take the hypothesis can take is 1 so the y should always lie between 0 and 1 right um, well why is it so different because classification problems we we just want to know that whether you know either whether a particular object belong to uh, this category or that category so we are interested in knowing the chances of happening uh, or chances of uh, you know uh, a particular object belonging to a particular category. Uh, how do we measure chances in mathematics? Well, we measure by probability, right? And you know that probability uh, of probability value always lies between 0 and 1. You cannot have a probability greater than 1 or uh, or a negative value. So it always should uh, lie between 0 and 1, both inclusive. Okay. Now the question is whether the regression line fits well to this data. Well, the answer is no. We cannot use a linear regression line like this to fit a classification problem. We will use what is known as logistic regression line, which of course we will study in the next video. Why this doesn't fit? Because, uh, you know, just by even looking at this, uh, you know, looking at this, just by visualizing this also, uh, we know that this doesn't fit uh, the, the set of points. You know, there's a lot of points uh, you probably have points here, you probably have points here which are very far away from the line. That's one reason. The second reason is that if you fit a regression line like this, the hypothesis H not X probably it can go beyond 1 or less than 0, which is definitely not a case that we are in, uh, you know, we, we were interested in. We are interested in only in the chances and chances can only be given by probability and probability always has to lie between 0 and 1. So the linear regression equations cannot be fitted into this kind of a problem. Remember we are dealing with classification problem. Um, so uh, the hypothesis when we fit it if it is greater than 0.5 we denote it as y equal to 1. If it is less than 0.5, then it's y is equal to 0 or the target value takes the value of 0. So 1 here is the malignant case, 0 here is the non-malignant case. Hypothesis value uh, or the hypothesis equations for this classification problem, of course, we will uh, study that what form it takes. But just remember that the uh, cutoff value of hypothesis or the probability value if it is more than 0.5 then the target value is 1 if it less than that its target value is 1 that means if you uh, plot a line here at 0.5 so uh, cases if probability your hypothesis uh, equation or the hypothesis uh, equation takes a value greater than 0.5 Okay, it takes here or here, we consider this, you know, this belong to this category, this set of category. Okay, so what is this set of category? This is like malignant case. If it lies somewhere here, then 
it's the non manipulate case so that's about it you we are interested in uh, knowing that uh, a particular observation or a new observation a new medical case has come we want to know whether it's malignant or not so these kind of problems are known as classification we will study in detail in the subsequent uh, sessions